let's go backwards. Eight, seven, eight, six. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is KC back again with another exciting video. This video is all about playing by ear and the number system. I am super excited about this ear training because I'm going to give you guys some tools to be able to hear chords and first let's determine if this video is for you. I'm going to give you three different notes and I want to see if you can identify what they are and if you can identify these notes then come back next week I'll give you something a little bit more advanced. So number one here's C. Now tell me what note this is. If you guessed B, you are absolutely correct. I'm going to give you another one here. You ready? If you guessed F sharp, you're absolutely correct. You have an advanced ear. You can really hear. All right, let me give you one more. If you guessed D, you are absolutely correct. You don't even need to watch the rest of this video if you got all three of those correct. But if you didn't, by the end of this video, I promise you, you'll be able to recognize each of these tones or each of these notes and be able to give me the numerical value. I took music theory and ear training and I did really, really well. But one issue I had was the exercises and the tests that they gave, they didn't really fit in a real world situation for gospel, jazz and R&B. So I'm going to give you example number one to go through this scale, listening to something a little bit more minor even though one is here all right so let's go into that example one two three four five six seven eight backwards eight seven six five four three two one so this next exercise what we're going to do is we're going to kind of bounce and pivot back to the one and the purpose of this is so that you get the one ingrained in your system so i'll start with a one and then one two and then one back up to a three and then back down to the one and then four so ultimately i want you to hear these different notes while still going back to the one and this will be able to develop your relative pitch not perfect pitch but relative pitch and we'll go more into that after this next exercise let's go backwards eight seven eight six eight five eight the purpose of this again is to give you relative pitch so that you have one or C so one four one six one seven one four one three so that's the purpose of that exercise again you may need to watch this video more than one time so that you can get through these exercises and you'll be able to identify the scale degree now if you feel like this video is a benefit to you and you want to take it a step further feel free to join our free club i'm going to give you all of these audio tracks so that you can practice offline and be able to follow this video lesson or this ear training lesson much more carefully and much more closely and to make it a lot easier for you to practice through these examples so you'll be able to get the pdf you'll also get the audio tracks and i may even include some midi files that was Mary had a little lamb and it's basically following the number system three two one two three 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 and again I give you guys the PDF to follow along with 
But ultimately, my goal is so that you can hear how these notes relate to each other rather closely. But I want to show you something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you notice, this is C and so is this. So instead of calling this eight, we can call it one. This is also one. So I don't want you guys to get stuck saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Right? That's one. This is one. So all these ones, I want you to be able to hear. That's a five. This is a five. That's a five. That's a five. One. So let's go into song number two. Let's go to song number three, and this is the last one. This is the most difficult one because we're going to incorporate one, two, three, four, five, a new scale degree. Right there, y'all hear that? So one, two, three, four, five, flat five. Some of you guys might know this as sharp four or four sharp, but I'm going to re relate or call this note here flat five, and I prefer using flats versus sharps. So anyway, let's go into this song number three. Let's see how well you guys do. And then after this, we're going to give you guys that test one more time to see if your ear has developed to be able to hear these various scale degrees. Let's go to song number three. So you notice in this song, it starts off with a five, three, one, three, five, eight, or one. Now, listen to this. That's a chord, five, three, one. So now we're leaning into chords versus just individual notes. So one plus three plus five is called a major chord. Now, before we go into major chords, I'll save that for next week's ear training. Only if you guys want it. So comment below. Yeah, go to ear training level two. I'm ready for it. So let's quickly jump into our ear training or our play by ear level one quiz. So number one, I would like to give you the note C because you need to know where one is in order to know where the other scale degrees are. So C is one. And of course we can do this in different keys, but for this quiz, we'll stay in the key of C. So here is C is one. What note is this? Now, before I tell you what note it is, how am I able to find this note and tell you what letter or what number it is? Because I need to know where one is. So one, mm, mm, that's the note, one. You gotta find where one is. So one, two, three. So three in the key of C is E. And that's our note. All right, let's do number two. And we'll do maybe five of these. Number two. Okay, so now I want you to hear this. This is the note, but where is one? One, you gotta go back to C. You have to go back to that foundational key because I'm teaching you guys how to execute and play by ear using relative pitch. So here is one, that note was da. So, one on a note is seven, seven. Let's look at it and see if that's a B. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. That's right. If you guessed or you put seven or B, you're absolutely correct. All right, let's do three more. Okay, so I have to hear one, one, Always got to go back to one. One, two, three, four, five. It was in between there. One, two, three, four, five, flat five. I believe that's the note. That's an F sharp or a G flat. Boom. If you guess flat five, you're absolutely correct. All right, let's do two more. 
Um, let me give you C. And then I'll give you the second or the next one. All right. And remember, you have to go back to C. You have to remember where C is, especially when you're playing by ear and you're playing songs you've never played before. You know where one is. One, two, three, four. Let's see if I'm correct. Is that four or F? That's it. <laughs> all right. We have one more. All right. And again, I'll give you C or C, any register. It doesn't matter if you're a soprano. So here's C. Here's the next one. All right. So we know one is here. This is a little bit easier. One, two, or D. Here we go. So if you guess D or you guess two, preferably I prefer you guys learn the numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or one, one, seven, six, five, flat five. And this makes it so much easier when you're playing in the other 11 keys because there are 12 keys that we'll be learning how to play in. And you all know I never like to close any of my videos without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I'll see you guys next week, next Monday, next Wednesday. Y'all know we have a new Worship Wednesday. So see you then.